So this is Camry. Camry is six years old. Camry was a birth diagnosis, so we had no idea. Obviously, we've heard the word Down syndrome before, but never did we realize that would be a part of our family's journey. It was hard to believe because she was perfectly healthy. We stayed right at our local hospital, just like her brother, and we went home and had a normal life um, with a very heavy diagnosis that seemed very scary and very overwhelming. When Camry was born, I never thought that I would have the lucky few tattooed on my arm. I went with another uh, group of moms to get this. Um, There's something special about the Down syndrome diagnoses and the kids that have Down syndrome. I can't put my finger on it. It's just there. It's, it's in some of our kids that are verbal, some of our kids that are nonverbal. There's this thing that you're just drawn to in their hearts, in their souls. We call Down syndrome Camry superpower. She brings the good out of people and makes others better. You know, you put life into perspective when you have a kid with a disability. You realize that certain things that you thought were important are not. So I first met Camry in December of 2022 for this routine hearing test. And on that day, mom came in um, and had mentioned how Camry's ears were healthy. They were just cleaned. She was hearing her best, but she still really had concerns with her hearing. So I evaluated her hearing and discovered that, yes, she does have some hearing loss. So we discussed some different options of what we needed to do about that. Camry's reports from kindergarten were that she's quiet and shy. And my husband and I would look at each other saying, who, our kid? And then all of a sudden, audiology confirms a suspicion that we had had that her hearing isn't what it should be. And they bring the Baja in. And now she's talking and dancing and holding the kids' hands at school. She's participating and we're getting these 180 notes. Camry had so much fun with it at school. That's the girl that we knew, and to know that Jessica had made such a suggestion that was instantly life-changing, it's a big deal. There's not a lot of hope when you first are looking at this diagnosis sometimes, and how able that they are, I think, is something that needs to be shared. Unfortunately, sometimes the expectations for children and adults with Down syndrome are still set very, very low. And so they need a family support system who understands that we have to set the bar high for them because they can and they will reach it. But that also has to be providers because as much as a parent can know what their child is capable of, if their team doesn't feel the same way, they're not going to be supported. And it has to be a community, not just from the parents. We absolutely adore the care that we have been given. We have been blessed. We will be rocking our socks and celebrating World Down Syndrome Day. We are lucky um, to be the lucky few. And there is a community that surrounds us on Pittsburgh. And I hope that everybody else has that same support um, to just celebrate Down Syndrome and be able to break those barriers and say, we are the lucky few. And we hope that many will have the opportunity to interact um, with not Camry, but um, all kids that have Down Syndrome so they can see who they really are made to be. So happy to World Down Syndrome Day.